Our road trip today started in Edmonton and headed east, kind of making a loop northeast to southeast and back to Edmonton. We've arrived at our first stop, the Redwater Provincial Recreation Area, which is kind of known for quadding because it's all sand dunes and just very interesting that's an hour away and we've got basically desert-like sand dunes here. So I got my camera and because it's such a bluebird kind of day, like the sky won't be very interesting, so there won't be probably any big grand landscapes, but hopefully um, we can pull out some small scenes and get some photo tips along the way. My first tip for today is I've put on a circular polarizer and I'll probably keep it on all day. Just because the sun's so harsh today coming from above, um, in order to get some contrast or reduce some of the glare off of any of the subjects, just to spin that polarizer a bit. It'll also add a bit of saturation too to your images. crocus out here. They bloom earlier than a lot of the other flowers. And all of these trees that we see are jack pine, um, which likes sandy soil a bit more than a lot of the other pines. That's why they grow here a lot. So I found a little image here. Um, just there's a bank and the sand kind of washes along there. It looks kind of cool, like a little bit of a more um, sand duny kind of scene. So just picking out a couple of the lines could be interesting. Smoky Lake is a small town further northeast than the Redwater PRA from Edmonton. at Smoky Lake, home of the world's largest pumpkins. So my photo tip for this spot is to um, take it from an interesting location. I think the majority of people would stand right in front, get all of the pumpkins right in profile, like straight in front of you. But really, like they're in alliance, you could go from an angle and get them also in the shot or majority of them, just have a different looking photo. And you can also exaggerate their size by getting a little bit closer then because you don't have to be as far away.
After Smoky Lake, we began traveling south to find more big things. We made it to Andrew, and as you can see, there's the world's largest mallard there. We decided to have lunch um, and then kind of explore around. And some other people have also said it's the same thing, but we seem to have got a nice spot underneath the Scott's Pine here. Here's a bit of conversation. Um, we'll talk about what um, largest things we've been to and if the other person's been there. So obviously, they were both have now gone to um, the pumpkins, the duck, the duck. Um, we've both been to the Mundare sausage before, and the Vegerville egg. egg. In Edmonton, there's um, baseball bat and pea stove. Yep. Um, where's the plane? Isn't there like the world's just like fighter jet somewhere? I think maybe Cold Lake. Um, I've seen the UFO landing the pad. The UFO landing site in St. Paul. Um, have, have you seen the mushrooms in Vilna? I've seen those. And not the pierogi in London. I don't know if I've been there. I don't think so. Not that I can remember. And isn't there like a largest train spike somewhere? I don't know where though. As we finished up our lunch, I thought I'd walk you through my photo tip for this area. Um, so as you can see, like if you were to look straight on at the mallard, it's from the other way. There wouldn't really be anything to add depth to the photo. So what we're going to do here is try and frame the photo around tonight. So I was thinking about looking at like those trees there, these trees here, to kind of enclose the mallard so that it has a little bit more depth to the photo instead of just here's the mallard, that's it. So from this spot here, hopefully we can use these branches, these bushes to kind of make a little frame around the mallard, to kind of make it more interesting of a photo. Found here is, um, we have the flag, so I was using the Alberta flag, when it, the gust comes it kind of unfurls and then as it with a vertical composition you can kind of have the flag and the front end of the mallet together so you know it's like Alberta, you've got the icon, and it's a little bit more of a story, see there like that. We actually made two more stops after Andrew that didn't get any filming and those were Harry Hill, a hamlet that's kind of like a little ghost town and also Mundare which has the world's largest sausage. We're now in Beggarville at the world's largest pisanka or painted egg. So my photo tip for this one, um, because there's nothing really to put in front or to add depth to it, and I've seen a lot of people just go up and stand next to it, take their picture, and there's this nice path that I'm on, and it's, it's got these trees all the way along, and it continues all the way up to the egg. So to, um, my tip for this one is to back off, like really back away, and then zoom in to press your picture, then make it look a little nicer.
After Vagerville, we had one more stop to make. It was a hot day and no adventures complete without a nice treat, so we stopped in Toefield at Mom's Ice Cream Corral, a must stop if you're in the area. So now we're on our way back. Um, what was your favorite stop of the day? Uh, I think I mostly liked seeing the mallard duck in Andrew. Yeah. What about you? Not the ice cream for you? Oh yeah, well the ice cream we just had in Toefield, yeah. Scarfed it down. Uh, I don't know. I like the um, pumpkins and Smoky Lake, and also the Redwater PRA. I would go back there to explore. Yeah, I feel like it could be explored more. Yeah.